there is a lot of new information in the Carlisha Gaither kidnapping case today. Carlisha's family members honored a citizen and Philadelphia detectives who rescued her and captured her alleged abductor. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Hunter also tells us that the family is revealing for the first time how Carlisha's physical and mental strength helped her survive her ordeal. How y'all doing? My name is Dwayne Fletcher. Um... Dwayne Fletcher got a hero's welcome in city council, along with a commendation and handshakes. His call to police as 22-year-old Carlisha Gaither was being dragged away by an accused kidnapper credited with helping save the victim's life. My daughter's hero, my hero. Like I said, if it wasn't for him, my daughter wouldn't be here right now. Fletcher explaining the honor marked a triumphant turnaround from a troubled past life. When we get an opportunity to just show people that we can do better, you know, we can, we can, you know, it's just got to give us a chance, that's all. Really raise the roof for the Philadelphia Police Department and their hard work. Still more applause and honors for Detective James Sloan and his squad, whose unrelenting pursuit led to Barnes' arrest. Thank God, thank the citizens, thank everybody that um, everything just clicked. And finally, posing with the citizen and the detective who helped save Carlicia, her father and grandfather praised the victim who they revealed for the first time, used her physical and mental strength to shield herself from her alleged abductor for three agonizing days. She's that kind of person. I mean, I think she hit him in the head with a hammer and still more or less convinced him to be her friend. And I'm glad that my daughter was a friendly person and got him into being a friendly guy so that way he wouldn't harm her. So again, I give all praise to my daughter. She's the hero. Now, Barnes this afternoon was indicted by a federal grand jury just a few hours ago on kidnapping charges. A hearing tomorrow will determine if he's going to be held in prison to await trial. Coming up at 6, new details that we've learned on how the FBI is trying to determine if Barnes may have attacked other women. We'll have it for you at 6. Live in the Sat Center, I'm Walt Hunter, CBS3 Eyewitness News. We'll talk to you then, Walt. Thank you very much.